Okay, just to clear something up, you go to general settings and make sure only trusted skins is turned off just in case someone can't see you, but everyone should be able to see you, especially also across all platforms. Uh, this isn't something that's patched by Mojang or Minecraft or whatever. It's just literally taking advantage of uh, the 3D capabilities and pushing it to the full extent. As you can see, I made Minecraft grind, all the skins, they're all there, they're animated, they're looking great. Um, and this is Minecraft 1.20.12, which is the newest one at the moment. Um, if it new update comes out, just go ahead and reinstall. But yeah, I'm going to be quickly showing you how to do this uh, correctly. And I'm going to start from scratch with you so it's not confusing. So when you download this, you'll see two files, Persona and Loading Bypass. You're going to need IO, Bit, and Locker because you need this in two locations. That's the thing no one understands. They got lucky somehow and just never helped anyone else. And the person who even made this skin pack doesn't even have real instructions. <laughs> so, um, yeah. As far as I know, this is how you do it. Uh, if you have it in one location, it's not going to work because then you'll just see the blocky models. So let me go ahead and just uh, go to a location. So I need you to copy and paste um, the second location uh, in the description. This is what everybody gets wrong. Um, they totally forget about this because not only do you have to go within the app, you have to go to where your files are located uh, manually. So just copy and paste the uh, file explorer location. You can also do command R and just do percent app data percent and then try to follow this location state here. But anyways, you go to skin packs and I'm going to delete this. Okay. One, because I want to start from scratch, but also you guys are going to have it. I don't know if loading bypass IMC packet is 100% necessary, but let's just uh, do exactly what I did. That got it working. So now we just need to go to IO bit unlocker. And we need to hit add. Now this is the first directory everyone tells you to go to. You go to your C drive, program files. And then you go to Windows apps. You want to scroll down until you see Microsoft.Minecraft, UWP, ooh, data. And then you go to Skin Packs. And then you delete this Persona file. So I'm going to select it. And I'm going to hit Unlock and Delete. It will delete the files. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Now, if I go ahead and click loading PyPass for the first time, I mean, I've already had it installed, but let's see if uh, it installs again. I don't know where this actually installs. Import started. Yeah, okay, so successfully imported for some get that. Yeah, it's failing to load because I have something selected that's not there. So it'll say successful if you have it deleted in both locations. Great, nice. Now instead of copying the persona file, I want to keep the files that were generated from our MC pack, the loading bypass, in case we need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the second location go into the text file and then take the only text file from uh, what we downloaded and we're going to put that inside of the second locations skin pack text file. This one was just now generated from the .mc pack to make things a little clearer uh, and I don't want to overwrite the entire folder. Now you're just going to go ahead and copy all of these skins like so. I know there's a bunch of them. And once you go ahead and copy those, 
just go back to the persona folder and then paste all the skins. There you go. Nice. Here, just close out of the downloaded stuff and stay within your app data. So open up IO bit and locker. Okay, and we're gonna drag this in here because this one's already prepared. What? No, not unlock. God dang it. Okay. Achoo! Okay. We're gonna do unlock and copy. So we need to go to the Windows C, go to Program Files, Windows Apps, Microsoft dot Minecraft UWP data skin packs. And I just do OK. Unlock and copy successful. So now the persona folder is in two locations. And if I go ahead and open up Minecraft, you may have to redo this process if an update comes out, but whatever. Okay, should take a little longer than normal. And then, yeah, especially since this is your first time initializing the skins or loading the skins, it's gonna take a minute. Um, and there you go, see? Got my Halo grunt back. If I go to profile, skins, now you can see they're all loaded. So I proved it there, and I didn't just say what to do, I did it along with you. Um, so I hope that helps, this is 1.20.12. It's gonna be used on realms, console players can see it, and you can do whatever you want. Sorry, the Minecraft music was recorded very loud, so I'm just doing a voiceover, but to prove it, I'm just gonna join one of my friend's realms and show off that um, it does work in game. It's not like it's only a menu thing. Uh, other people can see it. Um, again, no matter what console you're on, if they can't see it, just remember to go to general in your settings and then have them turn off uh, only trusted skins. Uh, and they should be able to fix it if they couldn't previously. But yeah, and you can just switch it immediately. You don't always have to go back to the main menu. Um, freeze up just like a tiny bit, but it will change. There you go. And now I'm a blaze. And I hope that clears up any and all confusion about how to install it. And no, this is not something that is patchable or whatever. You just may need to reinstall it um, if there's a new Minecraft update, uh, but there shouldn't be an issue. Um, let me know if it worked, and if it doesn't work, I, I don't know.